Hey, what's going on everyone? Stephen for Hey Techie back again. This video is the third in a new series here on the channel which focuses on accessories for your Apple smart home products. Apple products look great, but third-party accessories often add a new element of range and functionality to their products. Unfortunately though, there aren't that many accessories for the HomePod Mini or for the Apple TV, but thanks to the rise of 3D printing technology, there's lots of creatives out there making their own accessories for the products that are so important to your smart homes and daily lives. This series aims to look at what options are out there for us and to provide a platform for those independent creators that bring us these products. So if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more videos like it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Today's video is brought to you courtesy of D2-3D Designs and features this, a plug wall mount stand for your HomePod Mini. D2-3D Designs was founded by Daryl, who personally designs, builds, and sells his own 3D printed accessories. They're designed on his iPad Pro, and then he brings those accessories to life using 3D printers. More than that too, he also offers his designs online for free, so long as they're for personal use. So if you've got your own 3D printer, you should definitely check out his creations. Just be sure to show a small bit of appreciation with a donation if you can. The link to that is in the description below. My thanks must go to Daryl, of course, for sending me out a sample of his HomePod Mini mount, which I've used for this video. As always in this series, if you like what you see here, you can find his Etsy store and links to his work in the description below so that you can support independent creators. So this is the HomePod Mini plug mount. And there's two questions this product ultimately aims to answer. The first is to have a mount for the HomePod Mini, which means it will not come into contact with a countertop. After all, the closer it is to the counter, the more likely something may spill or damage it. And secondly, it also needs to have some sort of cable management built in, so you'll not have cables all over the place, which might get pulled and damaged or damage the HomePod speaker itself. The design here is deceptively simple and achieves both of these objectives. Upon opening the package on which you will receive your mount, it appears to come in two different pieces. However, on closer inspection, you'll see that in the base of the mount, there is a third piece which covers up the slot for cable management. And that's a really clever bit of design. Interestingly, this is also the first mount design I've seen which incorporates the UK 20 watt wall plug, which comes with the HomePod Mini. This is important to mention because if you're using a third party plug, or another power source for your HomePod Mini, for whatever the reason, this design is not going to work for you. If the HomePod Mini in your country also uses a different design of wall plug, you'll also need to bear that in mind. At the moment, there aren't designs for other countries, but this might be something that Daryl looks at in the future. This is also an example of a mount which needs some assembly work to put together, and there's a good reason for that. In order to reduce the shipping costs, as well as to facilitate the use of more eco-friendly packaging, the design comes apart so that it can be mailed more easily. And this is something that I really personally approve of. All of the designs on the D2 3D store are printed using 70% recycled plastic filament. So not only is the design of this product innovative, but the process from design to printing to postage is all streamlined with an environmental focus in mind. And that is something that I've not seen from many creators before. And that is something which I think really should be commended. Back on the design, the assembly process does require a small screwdriver to let you put it together, which is not included. Now, since filming, Daryl has let me know that based on customer feedback, he's actually changing up the design ever so slightly to use an M2 Allen key, which you'll almost certainly already have in your home, but he'll also provide one of those with any future orders for a small additional fee. For this model though, I've got three sets of M2.5 nut and bolts which hold the mounts together. The product only uses two sets, but Daryl does include a spare just in case you happen to lose them. Just a brief intermission here, don't forget to enter our giveaway. One lucky subscriber to this channel will be winning a HomePod Mini in the colour of their choice. If you want to enter, first of all you'll need to subscribe, and then using the hashtag HeyTechie1000Giveaway, leave me a comment on any of my videos, letting me know what you want to see on the channel in the future. 
If you're watching this video, I want to hear your opinion. Hey Techie is all about bringing the best smart home community together on YouTube and I can't do that without your thoughts. So let me know what you think and you'll be in with a chance of winning. Good luck. So putting it together goes a little something like this. Putting the plug part and the home pod cup together, place one of the nuts into the little groove at the bottom. Then screw in the screw from the other side like so. Then you'll need to do the same again but for the top nut and bolt noting that the nut goes on the other side this time. The process can be a little fiddly, but having a screwdriver with a magnetic tip is a huge help in the building process. I didn't really have the best tool for this, but I did manage to get it together quite easily anyway. So, with those two nuts and bolts installed, the mount is now built. All that remains is to add in the HomePod Mini itself. To do that, you'll first want to put the 20 watt plug, which slides into the mount quite snugly. It's a really satisfying feeling to do this, and the design is absolutely perfect in this regard. It holds the wall plug snugly, but it does also allow it to be taken back out without damaging the mount if you wanted to take it out at a later date. Just make sure to slot it in with the pins facing the right way though. The next step is to feed the HomePod Mini's cable through the front facing hole to the back, before wrapping it round the inside of the base like so. Now I actually found this process quite difficult because the cable kept coming out so you will need a bit of finger dexterity here. Once the cable is wrapped around neatly, you'll be able to feed it back up the mount and plug it into the plug itself. Now in my experience this was the hardest step of all, and in the end I had to use two chopsticks to get the USB to plug in properly. After that was all done, all that remained to do is to put the cable's covers lid back on using the little arrows to line them up like so and the finger holes on the bottom of this product were absolutely perfect for my fingers to get just the grip that I needed to twist the mechanism closed. And there you go, that's your HomePod mini mount all ready to go. Now, with every order, Daryl includes a QR code which links you to his YouTube channel with an instructional video of putting this all together. Filming it was a hard logistical challenge, so I definitely recommend you check out that video if you're interested in the product, and a link to his video is also in the description below. So, now it's all put together, what about the design and functionality? In my view, the design of this mount is great. It's simple and minimalistic, and it does a fantastic job of hiding any unsightly cables. The build itself is of an excellent quality. The plastic is firm and solid, so you're going to be sure that this isn't going to snap off and drop your precious HomePod anytime soon. Because of how fine the printing nozzle is during the process, there are some areas with slight defects but that is entirely to be expected from a product that is 3D printed. The fact that it's 70% recycled plastic is phenomenal, and I think that shows that you can create extremely high quality products with recycled materials, even at home. Thanks to the cable management system, if you wrap it round tightly, the HomePod will also have a hard time falling off the mount too, should you accidentally knock into it. Now it should be noted it doesn't hold the HomePod firmly, so it can wiggle around on the stand, and so you'll probably will need to reposition it from time to time. The mount itself does apply a small amount of pressure on the plug itself, and you can see here that there is a small gap which can open up, but certainly nothing to be concerned about in my view. All in all though, I think if you're here in the UK, or somewhere else that uses the same style of wall plug, and you want a plug based mount for your HomePod Mini, you're going to be very hard pressed to find one as good as this. It could free up space on your bedside locker, or help integrate the HomePod into your kitchen, which is where I think this design would look and function best of all. It really raises your HomePod Mini out of harm's way, and it removes the risk of you spilling something on it and thanks to its good cable management, you're not going to have to worry about tripping over cables. If you are buying from Daryl's Etsy store, there are also a number of different finishes to the print you can go for. The one I'm demoing here is in matte white, and it's also available in matte black as well, as well as a glossy finish to both instead. There's also Galaxy Black, which is a black plastic with small spots of white in it, almost looking like little stars. They cost around 15 to 16 pounds, depending on the finish you go for, which, when considering the amount of time invested in designing them, along with the cost of the printing, the eco-friendly printing resin, and the packaging, I think represents quite a good deal. Links to his store, as I mentioned earlier, can be found in the description below. 
As an exclusive bonus to Heiteki viewers, you can get 10% off his Etsy store right now if you use the coupon Heiteki10. Thanks so much for watching. Long term viewers of the channel will be pleased to know that next week I'll finally be back at home for the first time since March. So we'll be going back to a full time studio for Hey Techie once again. Don't forget if you want to see more Hey Techie content during the week head on over to our Facebook and Instagram pages where you can see the bonus content you won't see here on YouTube. Until next time then, I've been Steven for Hey Techie.